Mission Control on NASA Select Television. We're now taking a view from helicopter over the uh, landing area, and we're looking at some of the 380,000 people gathered for the landing of Discovery. That cap that call from Capcom. I can see Edwards from here, Houston. It sure looks gorgeous. I'm sure it does, Rick. We've now acquired a signal, a video signal from Vandenberg of Discovery as she passes over the California coastline. Discovery at 101,000 feet, velocity 3,700 feet per second, descending at a rate of 230 feet per second. Discovery now coming out of 40,000 feet, velocity 871 feet per second. Discovery Houston, recommend a vector transfer to the BFS. Discovery Houston, on center line, on glide slope, winds are calm, looks real pretty. At 3,000 feet, Discovery will execute her pre-flare maneuver. She's now at about 6,500 feet, descending descending at a rate of 180 feet per second. Speed 550 feet per second. Gear her down. The gear down and locked. The report from Mission Control. Main gear touchdown. Commander Hop now rotating the nose down, standing by for nose gear and touchdown. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning. Thanks a lot. On the uh, runway, runway 17, here at the Dryden Flight Research Facility, Vice President George Bush has arrived out at the landing site uh, with the Vice President, uh, NASA Administrator James Fletcher, and the head of the shuttle program, Rear Admiral Richard Truly. The uh, access stairs are up against the side of the orbiter. And the crew discovery now coming down the steps, waving a large American flag. Commander Rick House being greeted by Dick Truly and NASA Administrator Fletcher.